we're back to the award uh, presentation. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm all good. Alan Hill. Alan was born in the southwest of England near the Welsh border. He has been living in Canada since 2005. Alan has been published in North America and in the UK. His second full collection of poetry was called The Broken Word, and that was published in 2013 by Silver Bow Publishing, and, it's current, and he's currently compiling his third collection of poetry, which we all are looking forward to. Please welcome distinguished poet, Alan Hill. Our very old town. Yeah. <laughs> May I invite Mary to come forward, please? Thank you so much, Wynne. And, um, it feels like a family gathering to me these days. I've worked with Wynne for quite a few years now, and I've worked with many of you in the room, uh, both in my job here at the City of Richmond, and uh, in my uh, other life, my, uh, my uh, poet poetic life, I suppose. Um, so you guys are like family, and what better than having the true validation of a family? What more could anyone ask for? So I'm going to read one poem. Um, I have lots of, I thought I'd give you guys a break, and have lots of quite angsty poems. I'm sort of a 49-year-old teenager in some ways. But I thought I'd read something about writing, something a bit more, it's not exactly humorous, but uh, just about the act of writing, because there's so many of you writers here in the room. It's called Climbing the Language. I have spent a lifetime at it, starting from the last page I read backwards, cutting out the plot, simplifying characters, snipping out the speech, history and meaning, applying the heavy axe head of the here and now. Reaching the beginning, I unstitch a cloth, pull out pages one by one, clip them down to paragraphs, tear them into sentences, gouge out words and prune them back into the individual letters of it all. I have a mountain of them, stacked, towering into a matterhorn of grammatic opportunity. Packing a backpack, backpack with sandwiches and apples, I begin my ascent. First the foothills of undulating vowels and consonants, the easy handholds of A's and O's, then the scramble onto the cutting scree of irregular syntax. Later after lunch, the breakthrough into alpine meadows, lush with nominal nouns. As night descends, there is this push towards the top, struggling to grip the cool and unfamiliar inflectional morphology of granite. Then upon the peak, I find the dead, my grandparents, great-grandparents, People coming and going who vaguely have my eyes or nose, weeping among tubes of glue and rolls of tape, joining letters, wailing, tearing at their hair, eating their chests, circling in a trance of bloody-fingered subjectives, trying for words that will not come, a sentence that will unveil the descent. Thank you.